How's it going, guys? Recently, I made a full review of this Xtool TP150 TPMS diagnostic and a programming tool. If you're interested, you can find this video up here in the corner. In that video, I used this Xtool programming tool and the same Xtool brand tire pressure sensors. And the most frequently asked question was whether or not this tool can program any other sensor brands. The short answer is yes. And I'm going to show it to you on the example of this Nissan Murano. On the menu, let's go ahead and select our make, model, and the year of the car. Next, we're going to select check function and trigger each sensor in the order shown on the screen. We're going to start with the front left, then move to the right, the rear right, and the rear left. This car has regular aftermarket sensors installed, and these are not X-Tool brand. As you can notice, some of the sensors may take a while to get triggered. And that's because on average, they send that signal once a minute or so to conserve the battery. And just a side note, I also use this tool to program Toyota and Chevy sensors so far. And in both cases, it worked just fine. So. If you're considering buying this tool, be confident. It's a lot cheaper than any other alternatives. And if you're interested, I can drop a link down in the comments section below. Once finished, we get tire pressure activation is complete. Do you want to enter the tire pressure diagnosis learning interface? I'm gonna choose yes. On the next screen, we're going to get all of the sensor IDs. And on the bottom, it says, please relearn. So let's press the back button and then choose relearn function. Next, we're going to connect X tool to the OBD2 port and press OK button. And it's going to start communicating with the TPMS ECU. It's going to take about a minute. And during this communication process, you may see some lights flashing on a dashboard. If everything goes well, in the end, we're going to get OBD relearn success message. Press OK button and we are done here. You can start the car, drive it around and make sure that the lights are gone from the dashboard. And as you can see, this tool works with aftermarket brands just fine. You can buy it with confidence. It's very affordable, really nice tool to have. Be sure to check out the link down in the comment section below. I hope the video was helpful. And if so, please give it a like. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.